Hello! This is a new flap sanding disc that consists of pieces of abrasive cloth stuck to a backing layer. And this is what a warm disc looks like, where more than 50% of the disc has not been used. This uneven wear is caused by the abrasion of the disc mainly on the outside. The first reason is the grinder's mounting pin protruding beyond the disc, which does not allow the disc to be set parallel to the ground material, but only at an angle. Some probably came up with the idea to put some kind of washer and eliminate this drawback. It will be of little use, as the outer will travel a longer way anyway and will wear out faster. A third reason is to use the grinding wheel with the outside for internal corner welds. When the protruding flexible part of the wheel has worn down, the wheel is not suitable for the purpose because the backing layer obstructs the grinding. How can I quickly cut the backing layer without removing the disc from the grinder? On YouTube you will find a video in which the demonstrator uses a piece of metal with a sharp edge held in a vise. Perhaps it will work with a disc with a plastic back layer, but in the case of an ordinary disc, metal does not work for me. So for this purpose I use more durable recycled material. This is a random disc worn down to a diameter that does not allow it to continue to work with the grinder. Instead of throwing it away, it can still be used to extend the life of the flap disc. I do it this way. Instead of corundum, I use a piece of used whetstone in the same way. Remember to wear a mask, goggles and earth plugs when working with the grinder. Sending the fixing layer must be skillful, so as not to tear off the sending flaps. This can happen when the fixing layer is trimmed too deeply, or the adhesive has heated up for a long time. We now see flap disc in which I have trimmed the securing layer. This is the disc that could be used in 100%. Some discs cannot be cut completely because the friction layer is not fully glued. Can anything be done with this tab? I am Silvestro, thanks for your attention and I invite you to like and comment on the video, subscribe to my channel and watch other films.